Now we have the last presentation waiting for us from Emotech. Ms. Ruby Wang will make presentation on generative AI avatar. Let us have a look at the video. Is a digital assistant representing Emotech. It is an honor to speak at the International Copyright Technology Conference 2023. Today, we are thrilled to share our experiences and insights in the realm of innovative AI technology to empower copyrights. I would like to extend a warm welcome to my colleague, Ruby, who will be presenting next. Yeah, thank you, Liz, and uh, hello, everyone. I'm Ruby, a creative product lead from the Emotech team. It's a pleasure to be here speaking on behalf of Emotech. But firstly, I would like to quickly introduce Emotech and uh, myself a little bit. So Emotech is an AI company founded in London in 2015, dedicated to multimodal AI and low resource speech solutions. We have delivered solutions integrating generative AI and the digital avatar to many leading global companies in different industries. Since 2019, Emotech has been delivering service to clients in the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt, standing as the best provider of Arabic AI solutions worldwide. And here we have some key partners on the right-hand side, and you can see Neum, ADGM, Roshim. Notably, Emotech is also an award-winning company with many international awards, such as 4CES Award and the London Business Award. And recently, we even got selected by the Dubai Future Program. And uh, we have started developing uh, solutions with different Dubai government entities. Regarding me, um, I joined Emotech a year ago and uh, have been working on a diverse range of projects with clients such as ADGM and Roshin. Currently, I'm also engaged in a collaboration with Dubai Future. Um, throughout this experience, my team and my team and I have crafted and tailor-made AI solutions, starting from the scratch to fulfill unique client requirements. Um, drawing from the knowledge and insights from these ventures, I would like to share some valuable perspectives on how AI transform copyright um, materials. Today's theme is empowering uh, copyrights, generative AI avatars leading the transformation in the digital age. And the presentation will be divided into three main parts. So we will begin by examining some um, key challenges in copyrights, in the second part, I will talk about the approach for resolving these issues, focusing on the generative AI avatar solution. And to provide a more comprehensive understanding, um, I will elaborate on the solution and uh, the technology using Emotech as an ex example. And eventually, um, I will conclude by introducing Emotech's advantage in this area. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Uh, first, I wonder if anyone of you have ever heard about ABBA. So you may be probably familiar with one of their famous songs, uh, for example, Dancing Queen. Uh, so ABBA is actually a Swedish pop super group from in Stockholm in 1972. Um, they, although they have stepped back from the limelight for a period, they've now released a new album after 40 years. And yes. Um, they were now transformed into digital avatar as the image show and uh, already returned to the stage. So everyone uh, now in London actually can go to their concerts. You can see their posters in the underground. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, we are witnessing the future, a future that the artistic life of musicians can be extended through this kind of technology, virtualization, and likewise, there are more valuable intellectual properties that hold the same potential as you, as you can see on the right-hand side. And however, most of them uh, remain the inaccessible to a broader audience because of the time and other factors like a cause and geography limitations. Um, all these create the barrier, barriers um, that prevent people from accessing them. And for example, uh, the fading recognition of even a name as iconic as Michael Jackson, right? And at the same time, these um, uh, intellectual properties that do not incorporate different forms of media, like, like today we have not only text, image, but also audio, video, 
and uh, those are not multilingual will find it really difficult to attract and return the interest of the audience. But fortunately, we can learn from Abba's experience. Uh, like uh, we can bring the old artists with uh, physical limitations, uh, come back to the stage and the young artists can perform what cannot be done with their real body. And even the diseased, pe like diseased people or the artists um, can return to the world again. So um, how can we unlock the full potential of this uh, intellectual property and generate revenue once again? Let's first look at this video. Hello? Hello. I was daydreaming about what it would be like to have a body. What's your name? They call me Albert Einstein. It's good to meet you. How old are you? He died at the age of 76. Okay, 76 years. <laughs> you must have known this man, right? Um, yes, he's Einstein, and it's truly surprising that we can engage with him today again. And yes, he has been transformed into an avatar, and now users can be able to communicate with him in the real time. And yeah, this so-called generative AI avatar like represents a revolutionary approach to create and uh, distribute copyrighted material. And then these materials can interact with the audience in different ways. So the generative AI avatar like combines the power of AI uh, with a visual representation to create a more engaging and interactive experience for audience. And the generative part actually means that the avatar isn't just replying, um, replaying the pre-programmed response. Instead, it can generate the new response based on the text, context, and the information it receives. So this makes the um, interaction feel more natural and uh, dynamic, like uh, you're having the conversation with a real person. And generally, the commercial scenarios for this um, generative AI avatar can be divided into two big categories. So one is customer facing, and uh, the other one is corporate facing. So after this um, intellectual property um, transforms into the digital avatar, they can be applied to uh, sales marketing, um, customer service, and the IoT, uh, smart hub, these kinds of uh, customer facing use cases. And in the corporate facing use cases, we can consider something like the training assistant, IT assistant, and HR assistant. So um, they can provide the assistance and uh, pr improve the overall operational efficiency in inside the organization. So we all believe that the IP's impact can be significantly upgraded with this kind of a solution. But to start, we will need to create a lifelike um, visual, virtual, virtual face and the body for, for, for them. So the avatar version of them can bring a more human touch um, to the audience, bridging the gap between technology and humanity. Uh, furthermore, this can contribute to the visual appeal so they can serve as an interface that simplifies uh, even the most complex information. And uh, by personalizing the engagements, we show our audience that we are not just keeping up with the time, but uh, actively leaving the way um, into a more user-centric uh, future. So how does Emotech create avatars? Uh, well, Emotech combines a multimodal solution and the 3D solution to make the avatar more impactful and attractive. So put it simply, uh, we support flexible input and output models. Uh, not only like uh, text, but we only but we also support like speech and video, allowing us to cater to diverse user preference and needs. We also utilize three D solution to create the avatar with a three hundred sixty degree view. So this ensures a more immersive environment than two D solution, and it allows any customization and uh, the modification without additional training. So just like the video here, I'm gonna play this. Uh, yeah, we can see it's super convenient when you would like to change the background, the lighting or the hairstyle of the avatar, etc. cetera. Um, the next, after we create the avatar, uh, we can now think about the uh, applications to face different scenarios. So uh, imagine your intellectual property come to life as a speaker in the video, engaging your audience with a personalized um, touch 
from storytelling to social media interactions and also like long tail advertising. And all this can be communicated in different languages. And we are able to reduce the production time in the process, allowing for a quicker turnaround and a greater agility in content creation. So let's quickly take a look at this demo and you can get the idea. So if you're looking for a way to take your communication and marketing efforts to the next level, consider using a digital avatar like myself. We are confident that we can help you achieve your goals, save you time and money, and make a lasting impression on your target audience. Yeah, and uh, for this solution, Emotech has developed a platform for generating this kind of video of avatars and uh, everything can be tailor-made on this platform actually. So first you can choose whatever language you want. We support over 20 languages and this includes like global languages such as English, French, Spanish, and you know, Korean and uh, Arabic. But what's truly impressive is our low resource model. So with this model, uh, we can use only 20 hours of language data that adapt to a totally new language, which is pretty efficient. And secondly, we can generate the video in almost real time. We have transformed the like the traditional uh, 70 minute video generation process into something like uh, now can be done in less than one second. And the Emotex Sync AI ensures a lifelike interaction for the avatar. And we just need a text file or the audio file and the corresponding uh, speech, facial expression, and even body movement uh, can be generated. And this technology can also be applied to um, any kind of uh, cartoon characters. And we also uh, support API. And the avatar can emphasize the words and the prosody like a human, like the, uh, for example, the pose between each sentence. And we can do voice cloning uh, as, as per the requirement. So let's do a very quick quiz. Um, let's first listen to these two audios and uh, Please guess which one is synthetic and which one is the voice of the real human. All students can go to their classrooms now. One day, beautiful new dresses arrived at the house. Okay, so yeah, um, actually it's um, quite um, hard to tell which one is real one, which one is the um, synthetic one. And actually the answer is the last one is synthetic. Um, as it's extremely like similar to the real human voice and we can't even tell it. And this also demonstrates like Emotex expertise in creating children's voice, which is thought to be very difficult to do in the industry. Um, now let's turn our attention to a powerful tool that can revolutionize sales and the business development, which is an AI chatbot. So whether it's sales materials or the extractional um, content, all, they, all these um, materials can be uploaded and the uh, AI will learn from them. Then uh, we can bring your IP, like your IP transformed into a, an avatar. And then your avatar can be representing your brand voice and values, then providing immediate relevant uh, information to your audience on this chatbot. And this chatbot offers um, definitely uh, 24 hours, seven days availability and uh, multilingual support. But even more, you can gain deep insights into the effectiveness of your content. So, um, we will provide the like key, key analytics and the invaluable feedback. Then you will know how to enhance your materials for later, like even greater impact. And here we also have a demo video like to provide you with a better understanding of this solution. Yeah, so uh, we choose uh, one of the, the most well-known um, K-pop groups um, in Korea, which is BTS company on their website as, as an example. And uh, yeah, we now uploaded this and uh, you will quickly get a chatbot generated. And uh, then now you can ask any question and the avatar can answer any of your questions now.
Okay, great. So if you're looking for a way to take your communication and mark. So um, Emotech revolutionized the development with uh, which called um, no code approach, which means our generative AI empowers people who have no coding background can easily create um, this kind of conversational experience for users. And we also consider the flexibility in data handling and the elimination of complex data collection. So unlike many other chatbot solutions, ours doesn't require like data gathering efforts. And uh, uh, finally, the security is very important. That's why we offer the flexibility of on-premise um, deployment. So this ensures that your sensitive information remains in your hand where, where it belongs. and. Uh, uh, the last one, let's explore the interactive AI, generative AI avatar. So this is a tool designed uh, to facilitate seamless interactions. Um, so you can engage with uh, the avatar, the, your IP in real time, and uh, you will get the instant response to queries, ensuring um, an e efficient exchange of the information. And then we can experience the power of real time updating. So which means um, the information provided by the avatar is actually always current and accurate. Um, you, you, we have no need to like uh, to um, do it manually. And the multilingual support um, also ensures the accessibility for a global audience, expand your global reach. So yeah, let's have a look at this demo. Hello. Hello. How can I assist you today? I'm going to Dubai with my family. Can you recommend three places to visit? Sure, you may want to visit the Burj Khalifa, Dubai Mall, and the Dubai Miracle Garden with your family. Great, thanks. Do you have any recommended local food restaurants in Dubai? Okay, yeah, so... Um, for this solution, text-to-speech and the uh, speech-to-text capabilities are essential and uh, we are proud to say that we are one of the best providers in the world. Like for example, as you see in the right hand, um, in Arabic, our uh, speech-to-text performance um, surpassed other leading players in the world by 30%. And meanwhile, English is also on the top tier. Um, Regarding the text-to-speech, um, our um, Saudi Arabian text-to-speech like reached an impressive accuracy of uh, 93%, also surpassing the competition. And when integrated with uh, uh, the avatar, the large language model forms the core of the solution. So the avatar uses the language models like um, capability to generate a response in real time. This means that the avatar can produce new and uh, uh, relevant content based on the input it receives from the uh, users. So this is what makes the avatar feel more human-like and adapt adaptable. And uh, we talked about so many scenarios for applying um, intellectual properties as avatars. So what can we ex exactly expect from the solutions? Um, well, first we can precisely control the costs, absolutely. For example, when using the um, AI-empowered videos I just mentioned, like production costs are only 10% of the cost of a real-world shooting. And uh, according to uh, Industry Insider, like once the digital avatar is created, like the new content can be generated faster and at a lower lower cost. And then this also means that um, creating high quality uh, content can be like uh, almost 50% uh, faster than traditional way. Um, and one of uh, the strengths is also obvious. So it's its ability to cross language barriers, which is particularly important for a country's international cooperation and sales. So with uh, multilingual support, we are able to bridge the language gap and uh, ensure seamless interactions with partners, um, customers and uh, audience from different linguistic backgrounds. And I also um, include some well-known Korean IPs that we can uh, have a look. Uh, I think they all have the great potential to create a, create a more even bigger like impact um, with the addition of a multilingual support. And uh, actually I'm a fan of um, Loopy. Um, 
So if Lupi could uh, speak in English and in different videos, I'm sure that, that like Lupi would be even more popular over the world. And uh, the last one, and uh, we can we can consider like um, this kind of generative AI avatars are actually flexible in terms of the distribution and can be adapted to a variety of platforms and uh, channels. This uh, adaptability ensures that our content can be easily used across a variety of uh, public platforms, social media, mobile uh, apps, uh, kiosks, and even more. Um, so with this kind of solution, we are no longer limited by our platform, but gain the power of them. Um, in the next section, I would like to introduce the advantage of um, Emotex generative AI avatar solution, so which can be broken down into three key aspects. So firstly, we pride ourselves on having this innovative AI-empowered technologies, which makes our avatar feel incredibly lifelike and remain at the forefront in the industry. And secondly, our design capabilities are on par with what you can find in Hollywood, not only the 3D avatar creation, but also like the UI UX design for the interface. And the most in importantly, like even like every piece of the technology we use is um, actually de developing house. So we understand the importance of the data security, which is why our all technologies can be locally deployed and uh, any customization and the modification can be done in a very short period of time because we are inside, in-house. In -house. And uh, next, um, it's um, our talent uh, teams. So it is our talent teams expertise and the dedication that has led to the development of these innovative te technologies and solutions. So as you see, um, Emotech gathers leading expertise in different domains with track records in various industries. And we also have many PhDs and uh, MC MSCs from top, um, top global universities. And we also have some uh, scientific advisors to ensure our technology advantage. Like um, John Shaw Taylor is the chairman of the UNESCO AI Center, a pioneer in the machine learning area. And he is also uh, the professor of our co-founder actually. And then uh, Ivo Rogers is the global number one human com computer interaction professor. And uh, she gave us a lot of instructions. Steve and Thomas are experts in the um, speech technology area. And uh, here are some Emotech significant track records that also demonstrate our rich experience in creating AI avatar solution. So we create the first, world first city ambassador for Neum, and also for ADGM, we develop employee training in courses using the um, AI video and digital avatar. Uh, we also offered an avatar for China Mobile at last year's JITEX for prom promotion process, purpose. And now we are working with Roshin on creating an avatar to drive the property sales. Um, yeah, as we draw to a close, I want to extend my gratitude once again for giving me this opportunity to discuss the potential of AI solutions in addressing the uh, challenges in copyright. And it has been a privilege to showcase Emotex technologies and the advantage we bring to this field. Um, so yeah. That's all for my presentation. Um, thank you everyone and uh, have a great day.